What is going on everybody? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host Jan. I hope you lot are doing well. Welcome to today's video, which is a Chelsea transfer news video. That's right, the transfer window is open, so of course, pretty much all stories when I do Chelsea news videos are going to be about transfers. But that's exciting. New players are new opportunities, new things, goals, better defence, all that kind of good gear. Today we're talking about two attacking players. Players. Even more exciting, we're going to be talking about attacking midfielder Danny Olmo, the Croatian lad, young lad, 21, very talented, could be an option. Also, I haven't spoken about him yet, but he's been linked to Chelsea a couple of times. Gabriel Barbosa, the Inter Milan Brazilian striker on loan away at Flamengo that's scoring so many goals, and I mean a lot. But before we do get into today's content, see that you do subscribe to Football Therapy if you have not yet done so. Hit the bell notifications icon, help me out, like the video, let's get into it! Right there, Lampard means business. Somehow, we're still in top four with Chelsea. It looks like things could be okay, but something needs to change. Sure, people speculate Chelsea need another centre-back, even though they have got some good centre-backs. One glaring sort of hole at the moment is indeed left back and Emerson apparently has come out and said or sources around the club have been talking about how Emerson wants to stay at Chelsea and fight for his place despite heavy interest in the Brazilian Italian from the continent, most notably from ex-Chelsea boss Antonio Conte wanting to bring him to Inter for £25 million but apparently he wants to stay and fight and live in London. Still. Anyone who watches football and knows Chelsea at the moment knows that they need a really a better left back that's versatile and can help with the attack more. And generally, they need to shore up defensively. But they will get better defensively if they coach systemically better. Stuff should become a little bit more solid. One thing that no one can argue with is Chelsea's inability sometimes to play between the lines, break teams down and score goals, or if they do get a goal, score the second to basically ensure they get the point. So there is an attacking frailty there, which is interesting because Frank Lampard's ethos, philosophy, generally is quite an attacking style of football and very direct. So you can imagine the Chelsea coach is very frustrated with the lack of goals coming from these chances, half chances, just the finishing's not happening. So attackers, it is basically definite, I'd say, that Chelsea are going to assign an attacker this window, whether it be an attacking midfielder, a winger or a striker, Chelsea are linked with all of them, they will sign someone. The young Chelsea forwards like hudson Adoy and Christian Pulisic are probably aware about this. Uh, Pulisic was interviewed after the Brighton game saying, you know, how do you feel about players coming in? And he pretty much said, like, we'd welcome it. Obviously, media trained footballers are going to say this, but he, he did say, I need to be better, I will be better. And if someone comes in, if the club brings people in, it's for the best. And hopefully, they can help us do better. Because ultimately, there's a big camaraderie in the Chelsea team at the moment. That's what Frank Lampard's trying to create. And if you and your mates are trying to do something and someone can come in and help you, then maybe, you know, you say, all right, come in, have some minutes, score some goals, let's do better. So let's talk about the linked players. Danny Olmo, 21-year-old Croatian attacking midfielder, plays for Dinamo Zagreb, used to winning and playing well. That is important. Here's some stats from his campaign last season. 44 appearances, 12 goals and 9 assists. 21 goal contributions in 44 appearances. Attacking midfielder, maybe someone that can link up and make key passes and stuff. Pretty decent, obviously very young still, can be seen as maybe a candidate for Frank Lampard to develop. Remember, when these certain players are linked, usually they're linked by a story or an agent moving somewhere or a sort of meeting and then the sort of whispers come out. No smoke without fire and all that. So you have to assume when these kind of a little bit more, I want to say left field links come together, these sort of gossiped or rumoured stories, you must think, right, well, he fits the player profile of what Frank Lampard wants to do. Now, Frank Lampard knows exactly what he wants to do. Jose Mourinho might be one of these old guard tactical win by any means necessary, get inside your head, shored, 
defensive style coaches, but Frank Lampard is, I'm only using Mourinho as an example, because Frank Lampard is very much the next gen, that although he doesn't want to play to a dogmatic philosophy like say Maurizio Sarri, he very much is forward thinking and he knows what he wants. He's like, right, I want a player that can do this, what player that can do this, we're willing to change your two or three different systems, but my players need to be able to do this. Whereas a coach like Jose Mourinho might be a little bit more big, strong, fast, and never die, savvy, dark arts, experience, all that kind of thing. The way you hear Frank Lampard talk in press conferences, you know, all the way at Derby to Chelsea and about football generally, and in his punditry, he's got a very strong footballing mind and he has a very definitive idea of football and how he wants to play. So if there's a specific left field target that comes out of the ether, you think, you know what? Frank or someone at the club probably have discussed this and they're not just going for, I don't know, like a Galactico name necessarily like Jadon Sancho, although you could understand why any club would want Jadon Sancho. So Olmo is an interesting one, he has been linked a few times. If he comes to the club you'd expect people like Ross Barkley to go. I don't think he's going to get much of a sniff in the first team, certainly in the Premier League, Champions League 11. Obviously Mason Mount is utilised all the time and Frank Lampard would probably want another relatively high profile player in his eyes to play in that position that he trusts that he can rotate well with Mason Mount. Obviously watch this space if the links get stronger, if more stories come out I'll keep you updated. Right let's talk about the Brazilian goal scoring machine Gabriel Barbosa. Now Chelsea have actually been linked with him I think maybe even last summer before they got the transfer ban. Well no, hold on. They have been linked with him before, I know they have, because he's young but he's not that young and he's been on Inter Milan's books for a while now but he's been on loan at Flamengo and he's scoring a lot of goals. Hold on, uh, I've got some stats on my phone here. Right, so he's 23 years old, he probably had been linked with Chelsea maybe over the last three years, I certainly remember his name coming up with Chelsea next to it across some rags. But check this out, in the Brazilian league this season, 29 appearances. 25 goals and 8 assists to go with it. So, 33 goal involvements in 29 appearances in 20, just over 2,500 minutes. You work out, you do the math. Amazing offensive return. Takes a lot of shots per game, pretty good pass accuracy. Sounds very deadly indeed. A 23 year old who's used to scoring a lot of goals and is happy to chip in with a few assists. Sounds pretty good to me. Chelsea obviously have a few Brazilians on the book at the moment, or Brazilian Italians, Jorginho and Emerson. Obviously Willian as well, so you can imagine he'd be welcome to the club. And I think their season must be ending soon in South America. Often they do, so it might be much easier for him to come in January um, in terms of making a deal uh, with the player or the agent or whatever. To me, this sounds perfect. Olivier Giroud's on his way out. Don't know what's going on with Batshuayi. Batshuayi, even if he's not sold, he might get a loan, you know. Regardless, I feel like Frank Lampard will very much want a good option like this and Gabriel would probably be happy to rotate in and out with Tammy Abraham and just be on that sweet sweet Chelsea football club wage salary and live in London. I mean why not it's an opportunity for him to raise his profile you know maybe two years time when he's 25 still very young he's shown he can do bits at the highest level in the Premier League even as a second striker and then he might jump up again or go become a first team striker for someone else do you know what i mean it could still be a really positive career move for the young striker joe cole obviously came up with some comments recently saying chelsea need to sign a striker but not someone that's obviously or perceived as a better striker than Tammy Abraham to damage his development and the positivity on what's happening with him at Chelsea at the moment. Timo Werner would be an obvious example of this. He's maybe the hottest property in the world right now in terms of centre forwards, in terms of age and goal return and what he's offering. You know, you look at Harry Kane as well. It, People like Lewandowski is getting older now and obviously there was a Cardi but he's sort of playing at PSG now and he's not really at the top of the tree. But you look at someone like Timo Werner, the whole world is looking at him. That would probably damage Tammy Abraham's development but you bring in someone like Barbosa, that could work perfectly. It will be a huge leap for him in terms of profile of club but he won't be leading the line, the pressure will be off, he's used to scoring goals, he gets more money than he's used to, it's like a promotion. To me, it actually sounds like a really savvy and interesting 
transfer. But what do you think? I want to hear your guys' opinions on these two players. Get down in the comment section below. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. Do you think they would be good signings? I'm particularly interested in the striker options. Get down, let me know your suggestions or what you think of the stories. Remember to subscribe if you're new to Football Therapy and if you've enjoyed today's content, please do like the video and why not go subscribe to Yan Plays, my other YouTube channel. The link's in the top of the description. Go check it out, please. And you guys can follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Twitter and Instagram at Football Yannick. No one follows me on Instagram. Why don't you follow me on Instagram at Football Yannick? Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. Keep it locked to Football Therapy as I will keep you updated. Enjoy the football. I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines, I rap through thought. Body bag the verse, outlined in chalk. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger, like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy, stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I laugh me, baby.